Hello Billy, I just got a new bike for Christmas but I can't seem to figure out how to ride it yet. Really? Well in class we're learning about physics and a riding a bike actually has a lot to do with it. Really? How could those two things possibly relate to each other? Well Dave, there are many different types of motion including, circular motion, moment of inertia, angular velocity, and projectile motion. That's so many terms. I don't know what any of that means. Well first let's talk about circular motion. Circular motion is the movement along the circumference of a circle or rotation along a circular path. A good example of circular motion are your tires. There is rotation along the circumference. Now let's talk about friction. A good example of that is when you apply your brakes. The brake pads press against the tires which create friction to slow the bike down. Wow that was a lot of information you just told me. I'm a little bit confused. Ok let's slow it down a little bit. Let's focus on a really important term that will help you understand how to ride a bike. Let's talk about momentum. Momentum can also be written as P equals MV. P stands for momentum, M stands for mass, and V stands for velocity. For example, let's find the momentum of this bike. The mass is 14 kilograms, and the velocity is 10 meters per second. In order to find the momentum we multiply 10 and 14 together. Therefore the momentum of this bike is 140 kilogram meter per second. Now let's talk about force. The equation for force is F equals MA. F stands for force, M stands for mass, and A stands for acceleration. Force is measured in either newtons or pounds. Newtons are the metric system and pounds are the English system. The conversion from newtons to pounds is about 4.45. Whoa that's cool. I guess that riding a bike really does have a lot to do with physics. But how does force help me ride a bike? Well force will help you understand the motion of the bike and how to calculate the force you or an object applies. But before you go I want to tell you one last term that will help you while riding a bike. This term is called center of gravity. The center of gravity is the average location of the weight of an object. While riding a bike the center of gravity is under the pedals and close to the ground. So if you continue to pedal your bike and do not change the center of gravity, riding a bike should be a piece of cake.